Hi, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Summer NAMM 2011 here with Sage Bonato, who's got a new company. But before we talk a little bit about that, we want to talk a little bit about your background in the industry. You've worked in the past with Seymour Duncan. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, actually, uh, I met Seymour about 14 years ago, and uh, we became good friends. And um, it turned out to be that uh, I got involved with him during the NAMM shows and outside helping some uh, uh, artists around the world. And we just uh, created, uh, between him and I, some sort of like uh, personal assisting, which I still do uh, on my free time. So we do help, you know, people like Mark Knopfler, David Gilmore. And, uh, sort of like an A and R guy at a label. Like going in between the artist and Seymour Duncan, the man, you know. So uh, yeah, so we, we you know, I do help a lot to uh, uh, connect them together somehow. He's busy, man. Uh, you can get him most of the time, so it's it's good to have somebody in. in you know. Okay, so you've started your own separate company, which Seymour is cool with, and he supports you in, but he's not involved. And right. your first product is this analog multi-effect board. Do you want to yes. tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, as a guitar player myself, I always wanted to have something that it's going to be easy to carry, have your basic effects in it, and maintain the high quality as you can. Um, I thought about it for almost like 15 years. And for the last uh, three years, I've been working pretty hard with a few designers and a and few artists just to get the right thing. And this, this is the product that you guys see right now. It's, uh, it's actually, there's uh, six effects over here. There's five that you can see, but it's buffered on the input. So there's six effects all together. So it's buffered, in other words, to, you know, when you plug into a few effects, you sort of lose some of the high end on your signal. It's buffered to bring that back in, right? right? Yeah, or if you have a really long cable between your guitar and the effects and the uh, uh, um, your amp. Yeah, so you got a buffer. It's bringing it back to, you know, with some of your highs and lows. Okay, so, so we go right to left here with kind of the standard order that most people would run their effects in. Do you right. want to tell us about each unit? Yes. <clears throat> so like I said, on the input, you buffered already, and then your first in line going to be, I like to call it a light compressor, and the reason I'm calling it a light compressor, there's a blend knob, I call it mash. You can blend between a dry signal to a compression. So in a certain um, uh, settings, you can actually use this as your clean boost, and it's not going to compress it too much. If you like that uh, country compression, you can still get it. Yeah, let's hear it. So here's the guitar with nothing. the volume up a little bit then if I'll you know change some of the uh, settings over here get a little bit more sustain get more into the compression side it's like a compressor it's like it so you know I don't like compression a lot so I, I, I myself set up more like my clean boost if I need to bring up a little bit if I go from uh, you know, from like a clean uh, rhythm, and I want a clean solo, bring it up a little bit, just click it in, boom, I get what I need. My favorite amp of all time was the uh, Soldano SLO 100. And then Soldano had a pedal called the Supercharger, which is one of my favorite. I always wanted to have that sound in a little box. Um, and, and I think I was able to get that over here. Um, so it's kind of like a Soldano, old marshall -y kind of sound. Um, so you can have a full gain, or you can have, if you get the gain down to nothing, get that crunchy sound. Um, if we can get it over here. So this is without. Um, yeah, pretty much. It's hard to hear it over here. But. <laughs> okay, and then you've also got overdrive. Yeah, the overdrive. It's um, it's very subtle. You know, you can you can in a certain settings over here, you can have the overdrive where if you play soft, it's really responsive to your playing. You play soft, it stays clean. You hit the strings hard, it starts breaking. So if I set it over here, 
to that settings that I was just talking about. So, so here it is on. So if I play soft, still get that clean sound. Now playing humbucker, so you still have that little bite into it also. But that's pretty much what it is. And of course, you know, you can you can move the gain more, you get like a little bit just a normal overdrive. Tell us about the toggle down there. Is that a three-way toggle? Yes, you know, you have what I call it cream, wide and crunch. Um, the cream will give you more kind of like a, almost like a vintagey sound, you know. Uh, wide will be a little bit more uh, open space and the crunch um, it's almost like um, you know like Eric Johnson kind of uh, uh, compressed distortion type of thing so that's what you're gonna get it over there okay so, so now you've switched to a Strat style guitar to show us the delay and reverb right. uh, the delay over here um, you know like the analog sound from all time and this over here will give you that analog uh, echo sound. Um, and it is analog, not just digital um, imitating analog. It's, or? Yeah, it's you know, it's it's analog sound. You know, you got, it has to be digital in some way. You know, so it has more than like 600 milliseconds or something. It has uh, about 630. Yeah, yeah. Um, you no, know, you get like analog coming in, converted to a digital coming out analog. Okay. So the tone you're getting outside, that's analog sound. Okay, let's hear it. So uh, here's the guitar without it. What's very important for me with any one of these, it's not to alter your natural tone that's coming from your guitar and from the amp. It's the one thing that I hate with uh, effects is that when your tones start changing, when you dial in effects. And that's, that's why it took me that long uh, to get it the way I want it. I want, if you have all of them or either one of them, that your actual tone is not gonna change. And, um, I mean, I hope we can hear it over here with all that noise behind us, but... And that's without it. So your tone doesn't change, you know, it stays there. Cool. And then next up we have reverb. It's kind of like a spring reverb. Um, of course, I couldn't put a long spring reverb, but there's like a spring emulator over there. But I, I love the, uh, like a twin reverb sound, like an all twin reverb sound. And that's what I was trying to get over here. So it's very basic um, string reverb type of tone. And I mean, you can hear it right away, you know, there's the guitar with nothing. Dial it in. Don't forget the uh, volume up a little bit. Of course, we're going to get more of it. I didn't want to change the tone, the overall tone of the guitar. You know. Sounds really nice. Now, then, sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, and then, you know, there's a few things that we have over here added to the pedal board, not just the effects in a box. If we look on the back of it, right over here, so as you can see, we got an input over here. That's where your guitar, guitar comes in. You got a parallel power supply. So it will power this unit. But if you want to have your extra pedals to run with this pedal board, this will power it for you. There is a fuse over here. And the reason I added a fuse is because uh, I don't want somebody by accident will, will put in an AC instead of a DC. So just in case it happened, you are protected with a fuse. It will pop and, and nothing will happen. And over here, I included an extra fuse. So if that happened in the middle of the show, 
and you don't have a fuse, well, buddy, you got it over here. Smart. Pop it out, put it back in, you're done. Okay? Very handy. I got, thanks. I got two outputs for obvious reason. You want to have two amplifiers. They're two mono outputs, mono though, right? Output. Yes, not stereo. Mono output. Um, I got a dedicated tuner out, so you can actually run it into a tuner. If you click it, dead. Nothing comes out, but send signal to your tuner. Go back. Ready to go. Cool. The uh, effect loop that I have over here is for all uh, type of um, options. If you do have effect loop on your amplifier and you like to use it, what you can do is running your guitar to the front of, front of the amp, and if you go from the send of the amplifier into the return or in of my pedal board, out of my pedal board, back to the send, and you flip that loop switch um, up, what will happen is that your compressor distortion overdrive will come to the front of the amp, delay, reverb will come for your loop. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, the other option, if you want to run, like I said, extra pedals go ru running with this, the same thing. You're going to have out of here into your first pedal, second, four, 20, how many you have. Your last pedal in line, go into the input, return, send from here to the front. All your pedals will come after the overdrive before the delay. Cool. Well, we're, they just turned the lights off. Yeah, I know. Um, they're kicking us out, but we appreciate you showing us this really cool new device. Do you think you're going to have other um, products coming out pretty soon? or? I don't know if pretty soon. I just released that one. I am already thinking about my next one. Uh, any any uh, hints on what it might be? Um, no pressure. <laughs> yes, it will be a second type of pedal board for a different type of scenarios, different type of players. Um, and probably maybe next year some individual, maybe some of these uh, will come out as an individual. Not sure yet, so cool. you guys out there trying to wait to get the individual, yeah, you're not going to wait forever. The retail price is at $1349. Okay. Right now there's a promo going on online for uh, 1100 And uh, you know, I guess dealers, I have to keep it for the dealers, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so before we go, Sage, where can people go to find out more about this online and the stuff you're going to do in the future that... Uh... They can go to my website, which is benadoeffects.com. It's B-E-N-A-D-O effects.com. Got all the information online. Cool. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. I'm Sean Hammond. Thanks for watching PremierGuitar.com.